Hey, it's Molly, and I'm gonna show you how to make a no-sew tutu for the insane inflatable 5K that you can wear and bounce around in on those extreme obstacles. Well, since I already made my human-sized tutu and I don't have enough materials to make another human-sized tutu, I'm actually gonna make a dog tutu for my dog. It is the same process that you would use to make your own tutu for the insane inflatable 5K. So what you're gonna need is some ribbon and some tool, which comes on a spool like this one. Super easy to find these. I got mine at Hobby Lobby and they were like 50% off for each spool, which helped save me a lot of money. Altogether, I probably spent like 11 bucks with the ribbon and everything. You can also find glittery tool as well, which is super awesome. So for the human size tutu, I cut out like a bunch of strips. I had like four different spools. Um, and they come in all different colors. So I wanted to do like a pink and purple one. So I got like a pink and then like three different types of purple, including the glittery one. And I cut them all out into strips that are probably like two and a half feet long. I probably didn't need them to be that long and I probably could have saved a little bit. So once you have all your materials, you've cut them all up, you cut the tool into strips and stuff. For my dog, um, I don't know, he's pretty tiny, but I can always cut off more you just cut however much you're gonna need and i like to leave a little bit extra to tie a cute little bow cut it to whatever length you need for yourself and don't be too afraid to cut off more than you need because you can always trim it later you're gonna take um like three or four i took four of these layers and of course the tool is like shorter and smaller because it's for my dog and he's tiny you're gonna layer them like through three of those strips together or four depending on how poofy you want your tutu to be i like my tutu to be extra poofy so i was a little bit more liberal on how much tool i use overall i probably used let's see i had four spools it was almost 100 yards of tool which is probably a little excessive but i like i like the poof so you have that you're gonna fold that strip in half and then maybe fold it like one more time this isn't super important but it's just gonna make when you, when you tie it onto the ribbon, it's going to make it look a whole lot more um, clean and all that fun stuff. Then you're going to bend it in half so that there's this little loop right here. Then you're going to take your ribbon, place the ribbon on top of the loop, and then just kind of tie basically a knot. Take the end over the ribbon through that loop so that it's tied around the ribbon and then you just tighten it on there. And yes, your ribbon's gonna get crunched up like this. That's just what's gonna happen. So then that's literally it. And you just do that all the way around however much you want along the ribbon. You can uh, kind of separate this tool and make it poofy. When you're done, it should look something like this. Um, and of course for your own human tutu would be a lot bigger than this. But making a dog tutu is literally the same process that you would take to make a human-sized tutu.